Hey everybody, I'm back, Sprocket here, um, working on this battery tray, or maybe I should say what's left of it. Um, so I already vacuumed out a bunch of the uh, crusty rust that was around. So as you can see right there, I'm, I had to grind that head off of that bolt that holds it down. Now the reason why, if you can see this one, there's almost nothing left as far as something to get a hold of with a socket or a wrench or anything. So it looks like I got one, two, and three that hold this thing in. So I'm going to have to grind all of them down. And then underneath of it, you can see some of this. That's um, the many layers of the steel <laughs> that have separated via oxidation. So that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, incidentally, sorry about not putting a video out this weekend. Uh, it was Memorial Day weekend. The other part was I had to trim that hedgerow. That bush, that bush, that bush, that bush. All of those bushes which wrap around the house. There's also a couple more over there. One by the mailbox. This tree thing. All of these bushes. The one back there behind the trash cans. And mow and trim the grass. And then Memorial Day I spent with my family. So, that's why I didn't put a video out this weekend. All right, so there's what's left of my uh, battery tray. Uh, here in a second, I'll show you what the new one looks like. The area that it sits in, now, I haven't cleaned it out yet, but you can see all that lovely rust down in there. Of course, the front of the uh, inner fender is uh, about gone too. So, that right there is the radiator support bolt. You shouldn't be able to see that like that. So yeah, I got some uh, fab work to do here. All right, so new one, old one. You can see um, how much is actually missing. I'll bring us a little bit further out so you can see it a little better. But uh, yeah, so before I can even attempt to put that in, however, I'm going to have to do some fabricating up here on the rad support because down inside of here see how that wiggles yeah that's one of the hold downs for the battery tray that's in this piece which is about done that piece is an extension off of the rad support which as you can see is just all full of holes um, I cleaned up the other side so I could see what it looks like no. Yeah, it's all dark in there. Mm. Hang on. That might help a little bit. So right in there, which like I said, it's kind of dark, but you can see some of that's missing on this side, but not nearly as bad. But um, the top of that's just kind of skin for stuff to attach to. The problem is, there's not much skin left for me to attach to. And you can see this here is supposed to come all the way across, and of course there'd be a hole for this right here. And then this one here is holding, I think, my uh, fender support. It's either this one or this one. I can't, I'm not sure which, but it's one of them. So, yeah. So once I pull this fender, pull this inner fender then I can work on that because I'm gonna have to weld some metal up in there make some holes oh, oh what fun what fun but battery side is always worse because your old batteries will leak acid and this is what happens when it leaks acid it eats the metal so what I would suggest anytime you get a new battery they make a pad that sits on the bottom of this tray sometimes you got to trim it to fit but you want to make sure it goes all the way to the edges all the way around it's just a big flat piece of metal it's probably not metal but uh, it's a fibrous material um, I don't know maybe about 3 16 thick it's not real thick but what that does is when your battery gets older and it starts seeping acid out of it which is inevitable with a lead acid battery they always do you cannot avoid it um, Put that down and it'll absorb that so that it doesn't eat away at the metal so anyhow 
That's it for now. Have a good one.